Hello friends I am Shayan welcome to the another episode of the fact shy guy thanks for watching this video thanks for joining i appreciate you today's video is sponsored by scientificsoul.com please visit this site the link is given in the description box uh, thanks for sponsoring this video let's start today's topic is Topic 1 The Sun What is the What is the sun A sphere composed primarily of the two gases hydrogen and helium The sun contains 99.86% of the mass in the solar system The mass of the sun is approximately 330,000 times greater than that of earth It is almost 3 quarters hydrogen whilst most of the remaining mass is helium. Age of the sun. The sun formed 4.5 billion years ago as the solar system coalesced from a cloud of gas and dust. 1 million earths could fit inside the sun. If a hollow sun was filled up with spherical earths then around 960,000 would fit inside. On the other hand if these earths were squished inside with no wasted space then around 1,300,000 would fit inside. The sun is an almost perfect sphere. There is only a 10 kilometers difference in its polar diameter compared to its equatorial diameter. Considering the vast expanse of the sun, this means it is the closest thing to a perfect sphere that has been observed in nature. The temperature inside the sun can reach 15 million degrees Celsius. At the sun's core, energy is generated by nuclear fusion as hydrogen converts to helium. Because hot objects generally expand, the sun would explode like a giant bomb if it weren't for its enormous gravitational force. Eventually, the sun will consume the earth. When all the hydrogen has been burned, the sun will continue for about 130 million more years burning helium, during which time it will expand to the point that it will engulf Mercury and Venus and the Earth. At this stage, it will have become a red giant. The sun will one day be about the size of Earth. After its red giant phase, the sun will collapse, retaining its enormous mass but containing the approximate volume of our planet. When this happens, it will be called a white dwarf. Light from the sun takes 8 minutes to reach Earth. With a mean average distance of 150 million kilometers from Earth and with light traveling at 300,000 kilometers per second, dividing one by the other gives us an approximate time of 500 seconds or 8 minutes and 20 seconds. The sun travels at 220 kilometers per second. The sun is from 24,000 to 26,000 light years from the galactic center and it takes the sun 225 or 250 million years to complete an orbit of the center of the Milky Way. The distance from the sun to earth changes throughout the year. Because the earth travels on an elliptical orbit around the sun, the distance between the two bodies varies from 147 to 152 million kilometers. The sun is middle-aged. At around 4.5 billion years old, the sun has already burned off about half of its store of hydrogen. It has enough left to continue to burn hydrogen for approximately another 5 billion years. The sun is currently a type of star known as a yellow dwarf. The sun has a very strong magnetic field. Solar flares occur when magnetic energy is released by the sun during magnetic storms, which we see as sunspots. In sunspots, the magnetic lines are twisted and they spin, much like a tornado would on Earth. The sun generates solar wind. This is a stream of charged particles which travels through the solar system at approximately 450 kilometers per second. Solar wind occurs where the magnetic field of the sun extends into space instead of following its surface. Thanks for watching this video. Please share 
this video with your friends and uh, please subscribe our channel. Jai Hind!